Hello, today we're tasting the Two Brothers Sauvignon Blanc 2013 from Blind Corner, the winery in the Margaret River of Western Australia. I'd like just to go over three things about this wine, which I think is very important uh, to look at when you're tasting wine. First of all, the terroir, what's happening around the vineyard, the varietal, which grape is in the wine, and also the winemaker, what's the winemaker, in this case Ben, what's he doing with the wine before he, bo before he bottles it. Uh, first of all, the terroir. This is Margaret River. Margaret River is renowned and has been renowned for many years as the, the Bordeaux uh, area of Australia. It's uh, the region, uh, Margaret River is a peninsula on the southern western tip of Western Australia. Um, it has very strong uh, winds that come in off the Indian Ocean. It's uh, quite an isolated area and so you have a region with lovely cloud cover that keeps the grapes cool and I would call it sort of a, a, a cool climate region with um, winemaking uh, perfect for Sauvignon Blanc, Semillon, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot and those Bordeaux varietals. Um, with the cool climate you get uh, good acid retention in the wines and you get sort of reserved fruit so you get uh, what I would call Bordeaux white style with a little bit more carrot because of the extra sunshine you get from the southern hemisphere. Uh, the grape varietal Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc has normally uh, classically come from Bordeaux or Sancerre. Sancerre is a richer style, warmer climate um, from the Loire Valley. Uh, this is more of a, a Bordeaux style um, because of the region, Margaret River. And in Bordeaux they normally blend Sauvignon Blanc with Semillon um, and normally Generally, you would drink Sauvignon Blanc within the first two years of production because it's got to be drunk fresh when it's got good acid structure. Uh, ben produces this by putting, uh, hand-picking all the grapes. They then go into a big uh, tank, they drop the temperature, they do a cold vat ferment, and then you have the finished wine. However, Ben takes 20% of the finished wine out. He puts 10% into French oak uh, and gives that a sort of a, a rich uh, malolactic ferment which uh, turns the, that part of the wine a bit creamy and buttery. And then the other 10% goes into a fermenting egg, which is a big egg with concrete uh, walls. And uh, the wine sort of uh, um, moves around in there through heat and uh, it, turns the, it gives the wine extra uh, texture. And so once you put in the 10% from the oak and the 10% from the fermenting egg back into the 80% from the tank, you get a, a wine which is very well balanced and very textural on the palate. Um, so this Sauvignon Blanc, if I look at it, it's got very nice light colour, very young. White wines generally go darker with age. This is um, very pale, very clear. It's got very good aromatics of things like uh, gooseberry, uh, pyrazine, which is green bell pepper, and um, asparagus, a little bit of sort of herbaceous, coriander and parsley. Um, a tiny little bit of uh, cassis, just on the on the on the aromatics, uh, in the palate. Very fresh. You can taste that Ben's put a little bit of extra work into this. It's rich on the palate, but it's also got a lovely, clean acid finish. Sauvignon Blanc's perfect with Asian food. Anything with coriander, galangal, lem uh, lemon, lime, uh, lemongrass. Uh, chili goes very well because the chili can, the wine can cut through the chili, and um, I think the finished wine is fantastic. So good job, Ben, and that's the Two Brothers Sauvignon Blanc 2013. Thank you.